I would recommend that you do this as soon as possible because I had this Corvette for, gosh, probably one or two weeks and I was driving it down the interstate and there was a landscaping truck in front of me. And I'm usually really weird about this stuff, but there was nothing I could do. And a board flew off, off, off of the trailer and then flipped and hit the uh, hood of the car, hit it again, and then flipped off the windshield. Of course, most of my car is PPF, so it was mostly protected. But I still have a little ding right there where the board went through the PPF and went through the paint. And we touched it up, but short of painting the car hood again, I'm gonna have to look at that the rest of my life, I guess, or at least till I get rid of this Corvette and buy the Z06, right? Uh, but yeah, get this done as soon as possible. I could have gotten a tag off of that uh, trailer and possibly saved the $1,000 I spent to get the PPF removed, get that touched up, and put the PPF back on it. Hey guys, I'm James. Welcome to the Full Octane Garage. Uh, today we are going to look at uh, installing the SD card and setting up the PDR on your C8 Corvette. This is specifically the 2LT and 3LT packages where this comes standard. I'm not sure if this is an option on 1LTs or not. Leave a comment down below on that. Uh, maybe that'll let us know. Uh, but uh, yeah, so we're going to talk about uh, what card to buy, uh, how it goes into the car, and then how to access and set up the uh, card so that it's recording for you the way you want it to record. Uh, to begin with, the card that we recommend buying is this Extreme Pro SD card, 128 gig. Uh, I understand that you can go up to one terabyte. I don't think that's necessary. 128 is gonna get you several hours of recording time, and then it's going to lap over and record over the oldest uh, video later on. So this will typically handle all of your needs although they do make larger cards that are available. And we'll put a link for this card uh, down below in the description so you can get yours. Uh, the reason that uh, we're picking this card is it's the fastest card on the market right now. And that's really important as far as being able to access the video and download it onto your computer. Uh, it's 200 megabytes per second and the older cards that we've been using with our YouTube channel and things of that nature before I bought these uh, was uh, 20 gigabytes, uh, 20 megabytes per, per second. So this card is 10 times faster. And as you can see, <laughs> I'm a believer. I bought a bunch for all the rest of our camera equipment. Time to update. And this is only around $20 or so. Uh, not sure what the current price will be on the link, but uh, at the time that we bought this, this was $19.90. And it is the, just, uh, just to verify, it's the large card. They do make uh, micro SDs that slide into the larger card. You wanna go ahead and just buy this larger card for your car. I actually bought two so that um, I can swap one out when I'm pulling the information off of the other if I don't do it just immediately. That way I'm always recording. Okay, so the uh, PDR is the uh, Performance Data Recorder for the C8 Corvette. And what it's going to allow you to do is it'll be a dash cam view out the front. It records, it can re record video and audio, and it can do it in a couple different resolutions. So let's go check out the Corvette and let's put this thing in there. All right, guys, this is our 2021 uh, Z51 3LT convertible Corvette. Uh, we've had it for a couple months and uh, yeah, we're really enjoying it. Every Corvette video should start with a cold start, right? Gonna push our lock button on our remote, push the center button twice. <laughs> oh, that V8 always sounds good. It always sounds good. Let's go ahead and pull it out of the garage and then we'll get rolling here. All right, it's probably easier for you to put the card in from the passenger side. Okay, we're gonna open the glove compartment by pushing the center button right there. And the card is going to go, let's see if we can see this. You see that slot 
right there. That's where we're going to put the card. Okay, so we've got the card. Ah, see, it's facing this way. You got your little curved end down here at the bottom. You're going to turn it like this, and it's going to slide in this way. It won't let you put the card in backwards, so there's no fear of that, but that's how it goes in. And you just slide it into that slot. It slips right in there, and then just push it till it clicks. And there, now the card's installed. If you want to remove the card, you just push it lightly, and the card will come back out. But uh, we're going to leave it in there. Let's move over to the driver's side. Okay, we're going to start off by pushing the aux button, or pushing the starter button, to put the car in aux mode. Notice we are not putting our foot on the pedal at the same time. So now we're in the aux mode, and we're going to push the home button. That'll get us to our main menu screen. We're going to scroll all the way to the right. And uh, this is the symbol you're looking for, the PDR symbol. I'm going to push that. And this is basically telling you about your liability as far as laws and recording individuals. I'm going to skip that. And uh, here's the PDR setup. So you can see here, you can just push this, start recording if you would like. Um, the We're going to go ahead and start with this here, the video overlay. I'm going to push that. This will show the different displays that uh, will show up on the video. And you can push preview and it'll show you what it looks like. And it puts all this cool stuff on there. So that's the timing one. Let's jump over to track. See, it gives you different information, so you can pick which one you want. I think I'm going to leave it in sport for now. I'm going to hit the back arrow up here to go back to the main menu. And we're going to go to settings next. And start with the top. So audio recording, we're going to push that. And generally, I'm going to push on. And there's really no reason not to use this. And what it's going to do, it's going to record the sound inside the cabin. Uh, but if you plan on using this for, I don't know, YouTube video or something like that, um, you can select the off button in case you're listening to music or something inside the cabin that might give you a copyright infringement or something like that. Or you can just separate it in your uh, editing. But uh, I think we'll just leave it on for now just so we can have that option about whether we want it or not later in editing. All right, automatic recording. We are going to say on because we want it to record all the time. And then we're gonna hit configure. And it's uh, the type of video quality. It starts off in low, but we're going to select high. 480p sucks. You won't be able to, it's completely useless at that point. You definitely want to use the the high 1080p option. It says uh, lower video quality allows for more recording time, but with a 128 gig card, you've got all the recording time you'll need. You can always put a larger card in there. Uh, you can also have it so that it only records in valet mode. Uh, the other big option is about uh, always recording uh, overwrite. So once it fills the card up, it's gonna start recording over the top of the oldest video with your new video. Okay, we're going back again to the main menu. Software information, because we don't need that. Look on this screen, you can see on the storage, that's how much you have over a thousand minutes of recording time left. So 60 minutes per hour, gosh, you've already, that's, a, that's over 10 hours worth of recording time that you have available right now. Okay, and the final thing to click on is, sorry, is the SD card information. When you click on that, you'll see the title on the top. And this is information about your SD card. Of course, we haven't recorded anything yet, so there's no uh, recording there. And uh, it asks if you want to format the card. If you format the card, it'll clear the card and start over. So there's nothing we need to do there. So in reality, this is ready to go. Um, 
once you record a video, you can click on the recordings and it will list all the videos with the times and then you can watch your individual videos. I'm gonna take it around the block uh, just to see how it works. All right, so we're starting the car. Well, actually, let's put it in aux mode. So it's not recording in aux mode yet. If I put my foot on the brake and push the ignition. And it should be, and you can see it's starting to record. Let's go drive around the block and see what it says. All right, of course, uh, you always put it in Z mode, right? <laughs> That was a quick trip. There's the 5.16.2. All right, let's check our video out. And you can see it's starting to record. The uh, screen resolution is actually excellent. Interesting that I have 0.7 Gs and I haven't moved the car yet. <laughs> Here's your miles per hour at the top. And that's gonna be your miles traveled. I think this may be the gear that you're in, actually. I was driving with the windows down. So you'll hear a little bit of noise. Very cool. All right, guys. Uh, I think that sums it up for uh, what card to buy, how to install it, and basically how to set up your PDR for your C8 Corvette. Uh, we'll probably make another video on some of the track functions and things of that nature. Uh, you can just leave the card in there unless you wanna pull the video off of it, then you would take it and slide in into a card reader on your uh, desktop or laptop computer, and then just select that drive and drag the video over into your files, and then you should be able to view it on your, on your home computer. Uh, it records on the card only. There's nothing recorded in the car itself. So the video comes and goes with the card. Uh, got any questions or comments? Uh, it's one of our first times using it. So uh, if you see anything else that we missed, please leave it in the comments below. Thanks for watching and uh, check us out on Facebook and on Instagram at uh, Fall Octane Garage. And also check out uh, Driving with Melissa on Instagram and Facebook and Threads. And if you're looking for some collector car insurance, then uh, check out Full Octane Insurance. Uh, we'll have a link for them down below also. And of course, we will have a link for the card down below. Thanks for joining us, Full Octane Garage. We'll see you soon.